Hey. Thanks. I told you not to text me. Why can't I text you? Because he looks at my phone. Why can't we meet at my place? That's not going to happen anymore. So that to you're with. Jesus. What did you think you were going to do? So this is the guy that gave you the Mercedes and has a private jet and takes you to Maui and lives in the fucking mansion in Malibu. Ryan, please. Last night killed me. Why? Because I finally saw you with him. I know you better than he does. You're not happy, Tara. Who said anything about happy? He takes care of me. And he's in love with me. It's serious. Fuck it, Ryan. Who's happy? Who's really happy? Tell me. Gina. Oh. Gina is. Gina's happy. Right, another reason why I couldn't stand being around her. And you, and you really do all that shit? Couples? Random guys fucking you? Jesus, Tara. Ryan, stop. This isn't going anywhere. OK, so there's no point in having this discussion. This has to end. We can't do this anymore. Why are you asking me all this now? Because I hadn't met him before, and I do care. I think about you all the time. I can't help it. And he makes me sick. I can't get the things he makes you do out of my mind. Ryan. How do you think I felt watching him flashing pictures on his fucking phone in front of me? Last night made me sick. It made me fucking sick. We can't do this anymore. This has got to end. It's got to end. Hmm? What? Fucking me the last four weeks? You want to end that? You ever tell him about me? Did you ever tell him that you fell in love with me three years ago? That he dumped me when you realized I was the guy who might not make it? That you essentially abandoned me for a bunch of rich douchebags? And now that asshole? Ryan, who are you, Ryan? You're still bartending. You're still working for Randall as a part-time assistant at a fucking hotel. This dumb little movie is not going to do anything for you. Then why did you push me for it? Oh, I don't know. Because I care about you and I knew how much you wanted it. See, that's what I'm saying, baby. <laughs> I loved you so much, baby. We had so much fun together. I never got over it. When you, when you left, it killed me. And I tried so hard to let it go. I tried so hard to let go of it. And just when I think I'm going to make it without you, Gina suddenly started talking about her boss's girlfriend. But this girl she described didn't sound anything like you. And then <laughs> when I saw you at that audition, I'm still so in love with you. I don't fucking want to be, but I am. <laughs> I'm with him now. I'm with him. What are you thinking? You, you think you're going to nail this guy, move in with him, or what? You think that creep's going to marry Ryan, you? Ryan, don't go there. It's hard for me, too, OK? It's hard for me, too. That's why I tried helping you with the movie, because I care. But you don't have to go and say things that are going to hurt me. Leave him. Get out of there. And do what? I don't know. Come back to me. We'll get a job. We'll move in together. Get a job and do what, Ryan? Do you not remember how hard we were busting our asses? Do you remember those days? No, wait, probably not, because you're still living them. I'm not going back to that, Ryan. I'm not going back to going on auditions for jobs I'm never going to get, for bartending for eight bucks a fucking hour. I'm not going to do it. Do you remember how hard it was for us? We were always fucking broke. We were busting our asses. We couldn't even pay the fucking rent, Ryan. We couldn't pay the fucking rent. It wasn't fun for me. I'm not going back to that, and I need someone to take care of me, and I needed someone to take care of me.